Here's one tool that would be particularly useful for a quick and dirty brainstorming session for students who are good at drawing or writing and all have their own devices. So if you already understand uh, and are comfortable with um, Pear Deck and its painting tool, then this may just be extra for you. However, uh, when you're throwing things together real quick and you just want to get a quick buy-in from everyone, especially if you're on AMI, um, this might be a useful tool, so I'm just covering it for anyone who is curious. This is called Jamboard. When you're in Google Drive, and you go to the end of the top left, um, hopefully there will be something in the more area um, called a Jamboard, J-A-M-B-E-R-D, and when you say new Jamboard, you just get a big flip chart. However, this flip chart's got a share, and the share has a link that you can post to Google Classroom. Right now my link has to be SSD only, so it would still work for my students, but if I copy that link and then I go to Google Classroom and paste it, or I go to my email and paste it, or you know, go to Zoom and paste it, um, however I'm interfacing with my students basically, um, then uh, they all have the same board. And when one of them writes on it, then they see the same things you do. So um, whatever someone says in this corner, would, well, you can probably already think of some applications, but it's that fast to get things going. Um, let's say here's here's page two. Anyone can still turn back to page one. I'm going to say set background and let's add a uh, let's do a worksheet. Thank you to AlgebraWorksheets.com for sharing this out. Now, if one student were to choose a color and write. Um, I did not plug in my tablet for this, so I'm trying to use a mouse, my apologies. And so once I've written this on my sheet, or the student has written it on his or her sheet, then the other ones will all see it in real time, and that's all there is to it. It's, it's just a flip book, and um, you can go back to it and review it at any time. It's good for a divide and conquer kind of exercise like this when students are splitting things up, especially if you have one on the board, that way you can have Students who don't like the laptops on the board, or students who aren't good with the board can be on their Chromebooks. Or... So it has that kind of versatility. It is fairly simple. Yeah, as you can see, the tools are extremely limited, um, which in a sense is a good thing. Um, sometimes less is more, but um, that's it. That's what Jamboard is. And um, let me know if you use it in your classroom and how you use it. And uh, thanks for watching.